Hi, I'm Curtis Seebeck from, with Turntex Woodworks and I'm going to focus in this video on properly measuring and mixing Alumalite Water Clear and Alumalite Clear. The thing that I see people have the most problems with with Alumalite is getting it properly mixed or worrying about the amount of time they have to work with it. Uh, if you're new to working with Alumalite, you'll notice that Alumalite Water Clear has a 5 minute open time and Alumalite Clear has a 7 minute open time. Uh, some people think of, look at that and get really freaked out that they don't have enough time to work with it. But I'm going to just show you how easily it's done in a short amount of time. And to, to do that, I'm going to actually video, I mean, I'm going to actually time how long it takes me to mix this batch up. So I'm going to start the clock right now. I'm going to do 15 ounces. So I've got a clear plastic cup on a cheap postal scale. The scale's been zeroed out for the weight of the cup. I just poured in seven and a half ounces of A. Now I'm going to pour in another seven and a half ounces of B until I reach the 15 mark. The reason I like using these clear plastic cups is because as you can see when the uh, two parts are originally initially poured together they're cloudy and swirly and if I was using a solid sided cup I can't see that once the two components are thoroughly mixed properly there'll be no cloudiness no streakiness it'll all be one uniform clear color in mixing I use a rubber spatula scrape the side of the cup as you go we're going to be casting under pressure so I don't worry at all about getting any bubbles in the resin. I stir it you know, quite aggressively. I don't want to beat it into a froth, but I want to get it, make sure it's completely mixed up. Again, scraping the sides of the cup to dislodge any resin, unmixed resin that's stuck to the side of the cup. I'm ready to add some color. That's taking me exactly one minute and 40 seconds to get it thoroughly mixed. You can see now there's a lot of little champagne bubbles, but those will go away with the pressure. But the resin's completely clear with no streaks in it. I'm using Alumalite's dyes. I use one drop per ounce. Mixing up a custom color here. <clears throat> now I'll mix in the dye. Now I'm going to add some metallic powder to give the Blank some body. Now I'm ready to pour my resin. Okay, once the resin's poured, put it on this little rack, set it in the pressure pot. Add pressure. All right, I've just stopped the timer. As you can see, it took me exactly three minutes, 57.5 seconds from the time before I even opened the bottle until after it was completely mixed and under pressure. 
uh, which is well within the open time limits of Alumilite water clear as well as Alumilite clear. Um, so basically if you'll make sure that you uh, measure your resin one to one by weight, use a clear plastic cup, rubber spatula so you can scrape the sides, stir aggressively until the resin is completely clear and without any streaks and you should elim elim eliminate virtually all of your curing issues. The other thing to remember is Alumilite does not like water so make sure that if you're embedding anything in the resin that whatever you're embedding is 100 percent dry and you should have 100 percent success every time you cast.